Other news we are covering for you here on this Tuesday. Less than two hours ago, the man accused in two different kidnapping attempts right outside the Mission Valley Mall was in court. CBS 8 Shannon Handy was inside the courtroom for Arturo Lujan's arraignment. She joins us live. Shannon, you heard from a witness. Yeah, I did, and I'll get to that in a minute, Anna and Heather. Lujan pleaded not guilty to two counts of attempted kidnapping. Now, he was being held on kidnapping charges, but the prosecutor says they are still going over all the evidence and they could potentially file stronger charges as this case moves forward. She also said it's possible Lujan has done this before. We do believe that there may be victims out there based on the fact that there are two incidents close in time. We are still investigating and finding out more information. And so it is possible that charges could change in the future, um, especially if we were to find um, other victims. The two attempted kidnappings Lujan was charged with both occurred in the parking lot outside the Mission Valley Mall. Prosecutors say Lujan grabbed one six-year-old girl on Tuesday of last week and a five-year-old girl two days later. In that first case, the girl was walking outside Buffalo Wild Wings with her mom, who was pushing a stroller with her little brother inside. And Lujan reportedly came up from behind her and picked her up. In the other, Lujan allegedly grabbed a girl outside the inflatable play area in the parking lot and tried to put her in his car. In that case, an employee of Inflatable World named Jasmine is being credited with helping save that little girl. Today, her manager shared details about what happened, saying they were inside the ticket booth when Jasmine saw Lujan grab the girl. She saw something going on and she said, kid, in an excited manner and didn't get to finish the sentence. She came bolting out of the trailer. I went around to see what was going on. What I saw with, you know, two little girls there, I thought they were getting ready to run out into the parking lot. So I'm grabbing up two of them. When I finally had a chance to get my wherewithal, I looked up and there she was grabbing a girl right from the fan, man's hand. So she saw that was going on. I thought they were going into the parking lot and that's that's what happened. So she was right on top of it, being able to grab him from her his grasp. I grabbed the other two gals, made sure that they weren't going out in the parking lot. He took off and ran away. Uh, his back door was open in the, the back seat and the car was running. So he had every intention of grabbing and going. Some very scary moments, as you just heard. Lujan faces four years, 10 months in prison if convicted. He will be back in court July 3rd. He is being held without bail. And in fact, in court, the judge said he believes if Lujan was released, there's substantial likelihood it would result in great bodily harm to others. Anna and Heather. Yeah, Shannon, just to hear from the eyewitnesses, um, some very terrifying accounts yeah. there. Obviously, the families involved have to be nervous. I know we heard from the father of one of the victims. What did he have to say? Yeah, he spoke with CBS 8 last week. Uh, his daughter was the one involved in Tuesday's case where she was walking out of Buffalo Wild Wings parking lot with her mom and her little brother. And the dad tells us, you know, Lujan literally just came up from behind her and picked her up. But she started screaming and yelling. Her mom turned around and said, hey, what's going on? And Lujan said something to the effect of, oh, I thought this was someone else and just ran away. But the dad tells us, you know, his daughter, of course, it was a scary experience, did what she was taught to do. They have spoken to her about this in the past. So he says, that's the good news. All parents should talk to their kids about this. But he also says, he does not want this to take away from just living and enjoying life. They still hope that despite this scary experience, they will still go out as a family, have fun, and hopefully be able to move past what happened to his six-year-old daughter. You remember the guy in Ocean Beach that the man grabbed the little boy? Shannon, I know you interviewed him. I've interviewed the family, and they say to this day, and that was months ago, that little boy is scared to go places. So hopefully this family can move forward. Very scary stuff. Mm -hmm. Thanks for that update.